anatomy and physiology of the human cell. Before we get into the anatomy and physiology of the cell, we need to first understand the words themselves. So what is anatomy and physiology? Anatomy is the study of the form and structure of an organism. Physiology is the study of the processes of living organisms or how they function. Pathophysiology, which will be covered in another video, is the study of how the disease process affects the normal functioning of living organisms. Here's a quick look at the basic structures of the cell. In other words, what it's made of and what each part does. The cell membrane is a semi-permeable structure that allows nutritional elements to enter the cell and unusable waste byproducts to leave the cell. And for the most part, it keeps out harmful substances. The membrane maintains the cell's shape and it keeps the contents or the organelles from spilling out. Cytoplasm is a semi-fluid inside the cell, like our blood. It is where all chemical reactions take place in the cell. Organelles are structures located within the cytoplasm. The organelles are responsible for the functions that take place within the cell. Here, we'll go over the organelles and describe the role and function of each. The nucleus. The nucleus is the brain of the cell. It controls many functions of the cell and cell division. Nucleolus. This is located within the nucleus and is important in cell reproduction. The ribosomes composed of RNA and protein are manufactured here. Ribosomes. Ribosomes move from the nucleus to the cytoplasm, where they serve as sites for protein synthesis. Chromatin, also located in the nucleus. This is a loose, thread-like arrangement of DNA and protein. When the cell is ready to divide, the chromatin will form into rod-shaped structures called chromosomes. There are 46 total chromosomes in each cell. Chromosomes contain genes, which have a specific DNA sequence that allows for duplication. Mitochondria. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. What it does is breaks down carbs, fat, and proteins to form ATP, otherwise known as adenosine triphosphate or the energy of the cell. Next is the Golgi apparatus. This is a stack of membrane layers within the cytoplasm. It produces, stores, and packages secretions for discharge from the cell. Endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short. ER transports materials into and out of the nucleus. It aids in synthesis and storage of proteins. Smooth ER, which is not in all cells, aids in fat metabolism, cholesterol synthesis, and drug detoxification. The rough ER are regions where ribosomes are attached for protein production. Lysosomes. These digest proteins and fats and break down old cells, bacteria, and foreign materials. Lysosomes are very important to the immune system. Penicidic vesicles. These are pocket-like folds in the cell membrane which allow proteins and fat molecules to enter the cell. 
Once these are inside the cell, the folds close to form vacuoles or bubbles in the cytoplasm. Let's do a quick review now. The cell structure is composed of a cell membrane which acts like a skin for the cell. Within the cell membrane is a semifluid called cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is where all of the organelles are contained. The organelles are responsible for all of the functions that take place within the cell. The nucleus is the brain of the cell. The nucleolus is located within the nucleus and creates ribosomes. Ribosomes move from the nucleus to the cytoplasm where they serve as sites for protein synthesis. Chromatin is a thread of DNA and protein which together come to form chromosomes which contain the genes. There are 46 total chromosomes in each human cell. The mitochondria generates energy for the cell. Golgi apparatus produces, stores, and packages secretions for discharge from the cell. The endoplasmic reticulum transports materials into and out of the nucleus. Lysosomes digest proteins and fats. And penocytic vesicles allow proteins and fat molecules to enter the cell. Now, you should have a general understanding of the basic structure of the human cell. With this in mind, you're ready for the next video. Cell Reproduction.